Good night through Long Yupla Line on PNG. Me like come na talk hello Long Yupla. Um name blow me Pastor Wendy and um me pick name blow Gerald Buston. Uh I'm Papa Blow Me na Tibuna Papa Blow Me G T Buston na me like come na talk talk one time you blow lick lick time tassel. I know it's evening time in your in Papua New Guinea and you're probably getting ready for bed. It's early morning here. We're getting ready to go uh, have a prayer breakfast. We're in Tallahassee, which is the capital of Florida. And uh, we were last night on the steps praying at the capital. And this morning we're going to have prayer with several government officials and people here um, to pray with them about wisdom for God to give them leadership and guidance in what they're doing. And uh, then we're gonna be meeting with different government officials here because we're praying for our nation and we're praying for um, America to see it turn back to God. But I just wanted to jump on here and encourage you guys that whatever you're praying for, whatever you're believing God for, to keep praying and keep believing and begin to praise him. God has been telling me this year to praise him for the victories because he's already fought the battles. He's already won the war and he promises us that he goes before us. He makes a crooked path straight. He guides us with his eye. And um, something that really happened encouraging me this last week was the death of Billy Graham. When he passed away, it's been uh, just so encouraging to know, first off, where he's at and that we will see him again. But also to see all across the news media, they've been just playing the gospel and sharing the good news about Jesus' love. And I was thinking about how hard we have fought and prayed for America because it looked like the last eight years that America was completely turning away from God. Uh, in fact, even President Obama said we were not a Christian nation and he refused to let us have prayer at the White House. There was a lot of things that were going on that were displeasing to God's heart. And those of us that have been praying for America had seen God pushed out of this nation. And um, then we, we've been praying and fasting and believing God for victory. And, you know, when we saw the gospel going out and people sharing about the love of Jesus through Billy Graham and everything that he's done, it's been broadcast on our news network over here. It's been broadcast around the world. And uh, they're talking about the love of Jesus, which just a year or two ago, people were getting sued for praying in the name of Jesus. So, you know what? God just really clearly showed me through that, that he hears the prayers of his people and that he already knew what was coming in 2018 he knew that the death of billy graham was going to take place and that people were going to start hearing the gospel and that's the reason we were fighting so hard during the prayers that we were praying and fasting prior to that so i just want to encourage you tonight whatever you're praying for whatever you're believing for for papua new guinea whatever you ever you're believing for for you as an individual for your family Begin to praise God for the victory. Begin to thank God ahead of time because he's already won the war. He's promised us that He that we will triumph in the end. He's promised us to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. And we're praying for Papua New Guinea. 2018 is a new year. It's a new season. God is doing great things. We're seeing a shift and a change in this nation. And we're believing that for Papua New Guinea. I've been praying for Papua New Guinea that God will come back to that nation, that you guys will see God move like it was when my grandfather was there, like it was in the 80s when we were there in Lay, and uh, that we will see God bless Papua New Guinea again. And we've been praying for you all with the, the earthquakes that are going on over there. But I just wanted to encourage you today, begin to praise God and thank him for the victories because he's already won the war and he says that he thinks thoughts of good, and not of evil towards you. Thoughts to give you a future and a hope. As you get ready to go to bed tonight, just know that you're loved and that we're praying for you and that God's promised the victory for you. No matter what it is, begin to thank him because he's got the answers. Love you guys. We're looking forward to seeing you guys this year in Papua New Guinea. And uh, we'll be coming to you to tell you all of the plans that we have. But if you want to be a part of the groundwork there with the things that we're going to be doing, just inbox me. I'd love to talk to you. And... Um, John, it's good to see you jumping on here. Hope you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Love y'all.